Ollie, welcome to Kid. I mean, so just been having a chat with yourself and, and the gaffer there. It, it's clear the intention for you is to come and get straight stuck into it. Absolutely, yeah. I think obviously now I'm at the stage again where I need to get some games under my belt and obviously Kidderminster, I spoke to Russ Penny, I played with at Wrexham and I think it's um, where I can come and get games and join me football. What's he told you about what you're coming into? Someone that, that could that could use a, a player who's got a bit of that non-league experience as well yeah. but also can, can bring something to that midfield area? Yeah, I mean, I had a little bit of experience in, obviously, the conference a couple of seasons ago with Wrexham, um, and it's a tough league, and I, I can imagine Kedderminster being in, in the same sort of, you know, it'll be a tough, tough league, and hopefully I can get to grips with it and, and do well and play a lot of games for them. You mentioned that time at Wrexham, you speak very fondly of it. it, it is it another one of those ticks in the box for young lads going out on loan, the real bonus of that? Yeah, absolutely, I think... I think for young lads, I think if you're playing under 23s football, it's good to a point. But then you have to look at it and think you need to go and, and get you know toughen up and, and get out in the league and and it, it needs to actually mean something on a Saturday after a game. And I, uh, I'm I'm looking forward to coming here and, and and doing that. I guess different players take to that change of environment from playing that I guess the technically placed uh, Premier League two stuff. Versus perhaps your you know, League Two non-League first team stuff. How did you find the the, the difference? Yeah, I think it's uh, I think um, the Premier League Two. There's it's, it's technical. There's a lot of young technical players. I think, and obviously, when you obviously come and switch it to men's football, it's 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 probably completely different in that respect. I mean, I think uh, there's more tackles, more it's proper football into I think probably men's football, and obviously there's going to be technical players, and I'll I'll showcase that on on. On Saturday, Tuesday, um, but it's it's just a little bit different to to under twenty threes. And how did you adapt to that as a player? If you like, how would you feel you're suited to this level of football? If you like, the physicality, I guess. Yeah, I suppose the physicality. I'm I'm used to that. I mean, I don't really mind getting getting hurt as, as such, or because obviously like part and parcel with football, you're never just going to get not tackled or put tackles in. So I think I'm used to that with the with the fifteen twenty games I got at Wrexham. So hopefully I can. For a few games, I'll get get back into the swing of it and really enjoy it again. You've mentioned the fact Saturday, Tuesday already. Yeah. You're well aware that games at this yeah. stage of the season coming thick and fast. Yeah, I think that's 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 good. I think yeah, it's thick and fast, and that's what you need, isn't it? As young players, or it's just games under your belt and, and people watching you. Does it help for you as well that it is until January? It's not sort of like a, a one month loan where after a month nobody really knows where they are. You've got your chance yeah. to, to sink your teeth into a project, I guess. Yeah, I think I think that's the thing with me. I think I'd rather come for for a period of time where I know I'm going to be like sort of settling in and, and settled really, and and get straight stuck in as quick as I can. Um, so hopefully I can get ten, fifteen, hopefully more games under my belt here.